So this just arrived in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Asus ZenBook Duo 14, the UX482 here for 2021. This is a multitasker's dream. This has got, it's got the two screens, of course, the dual screens, and I've been looking forward to testing it out. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the Asus ZenBook Duo 14, UX482, coming up. And as we take a look at the specs in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Asus. I'm not being sponsored by Asus. No compensation from Asus, meaning I'm not getting paid by them. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and Asus is not getting copy approval. They're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this unit was purchased with my own money. I did not receive a review unit from Asus. Now, I picked this up at Best Buy here in the U.S. for $1,299.99. I'll put the link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. And with specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now, I have to say I really like the packaging that Asus uses here, really premium, really high end. And I love the fact that they include a carrying sleeve in the box at no additional cost. A nice value add once again from Asus. Now, the smaller box within contains the unit itself. Let's get that open as well. Lifting the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself. And I got to say, I really like this presentation. Now, holding the unit for the first time, it does have a little bit of heft to it at 1.57 kilograms or 3.46 pounds. Definitely not the lightest 14-inch laptop out there, but definitely portable to take with you on the go. You get a 65-watt USB-C power adapter. And it looks like they include some sort of stand. I'll investigate that a little bit more. It might attach to the bottom if I'm not mistaken. And they give you a pen at no additional cost. It uses one quadruple A battery. We'll get into the pen a little bit later in this video. And finally, you get some warranty information and some documentation. Now, the finish is called Celestial Blue, and I really like it. It's a very premium look, and it also has a cylindrical design to it, giving it off a very modern appearance. I like that. But one thing I noticed, it will attract fingerprints rather easily. You'll have to be wiping it down quite a bit. That's what I've noticed so far. Okay, let's check out the port selection. We'll start off on the left side. We get one HDMI 1.4 port, two Thunderbolt 4 ports that do data charge, display out. Moving to the right side, you get a micro SD card reader, a 3.5 millimeter audio combo jack, and one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port. And I have to say, that's a pretty good port selection. Now with that ScreenPad Plus, you're going to have a little bit of a different layout here with the keyboard. There's no palm rest, so you may have to get used to that. And the touchpad is moved to the right. Now I am a lefty, but it really hasn't been too much of an issue. But for those lefties that really rely on your left hand, then you may have an issue. But the key travel has been good so far on the keyboard. Multi-stage backlight, I'll get into that and more as I use it and bring you that full review. Now, the only thing that's user upgradable is the SSD, although you get some excellent reads and writes, as you can see from the Crystal Disk Mark results. Now, as far as the RAM is concerned, it uses LP DDR4X RAM. It's soldered into the motherboard. Now, my unit has 8 gigabytes of RAM, but you can get it with up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, depending on the SKU you choose. The Wi-Fi card is soldered into the motherboard, but it is a Wi-Fi 6 card, so that's good. And it also has Bluetooth 5.0, and both have been working well so far. Now this has the ergo lift hinge and what's new this time around is when you do lift that hinge, the secondary display, the ScreenPad Plus, raises up to give you a better viewing angle. Now let's talk about the displays. What we're looking at here in terms of the main display, it's a 14 inch display with an anti-glare coating on it so you don't get any unnecessary glare or reflections, which I really like. It's a full HD resolution, it's 1920 by 1080 and it's rated to 400 nits according to Asus. And what I've noticed so far in my initial use with it, it's a very bright, sharp display that really covers the color gamut really well. And it is a very color accurate display. And it's also Pantone color calibrated right out of the box. I'll bring you all the metrics and numbers in my full review. But so far, my initial impressions are it's an excellent main display. 
And they also noticed that the bezels are pretty thin with a 93% screen to body ratio. That's not bad at all. And of course, the big star here is that secondary display, the ScreenPad Plus, which is a 12.65 inch display with a resolution of 1920 by 515. It's an IPS display with stylus support. And so far, I'm finding it more useful than gimmicky. I actually think there has some utility here, especially when you want to watch videos while you're doing work or listen to Spotify. There are a plethora of things you can do as far as multitasking with this secondary display. Now, there's touch support as well as pen support on both displays. So I like that versatility. There are a number of apps you could run on this as well, including a numpad. So there are a lot of things you can do in terms of multitasking. Now, there is a dedicated key that allows you to switch between the two displays. That's pretty cool. So this is the front-facing camera on the Asus ZenBook Duo UX482, uh, the two-screen laptop or the dual-screen laptop here for 2021. I'm really liking it, although I'm not really liking this webcam. It's a bit of a, bit of a potato cam, of course, uh, 720p, 30 frames per second. Now, the good news is it's an infrared webcam, which will allow you to log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. So that is good, but I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. How does it look? How does it sound? Is it good for Zoom? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, now as far as the CPU is concerned, this is running the Intel 11th Gen Tiger Lake processor, the Core i7-1165G7 with integrated Iris XE graphics. Now I'll test the performance, of course, in my full review. I've seen this combination before, of course, with the integrated XE graphics, but there is also a SKU that will allow you to get a discrete GPU, the MX450 from NVIDIA. I don't have that on mine, but it is an option for those that want a little bit more graphics horsepower. Now there are stereo Harman card and speakers on this that fill up a room rather nicely with some decent volume hint of bass and pretty decent mids i'll test it more in my full review and let you know what i think of the audio experience coming very soon Okay, so far so good. 24 hours in with the Asus ZenBook Duo 14 UX482 here for 2021. So far, I like the bright, sharp, full HD main display, a 14-inch display. I like the ScreenPad Plus. It's more useful than I thought it would be. And I like the additional viewing angles that you get this time around. Battery life is looking good so far with that 71 watt hour battery. I also like the fact that you're getting a sleeve and pen included at no additional cost. These are Pantone color calibrated displays, by the way, and there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports, which I really like in an overall attractive design. Now, there are a few negatives here. There is no webcam shutter, physical webcam shutter. You do get a digital shutter as well, but there's no fingerprint scanner. RAM is not user upgradable and it's heavier and thicker than most 14 inch laptops. But you know what? I really like this so far. I can't wait to put it through its paces and bring you my full review coming very soon. So what do you think about this bad boy, the Asus ZenBook Duo, the 14 inch laptop that I really like with its two screens. This is the Celestial Blue, of course, as you can see, very premium look. I like it a lot, although it will show a lot of fingerprints, so you will be wiping it down quite a bit. But having said that, this is a beautiful design. Love the two displays. Love the battery life so far on that 71 watt hour battery. It's looking good, but of course, I need to do my full testing on it. Performance is looking good so far with the Core i7 1165G7 Tiger Lake 11th Gen from Intel. Looking good so far. Now, for those that want a little bit more graphics horsepower, as I mentioned, there is an MX450 variant as well. So check it out. 8 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM. You can get it with up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. One thing to keep in mind, not expandable by the user, so make sure you get enough RAM when you check out. Do you think the ScreenPad Plus is gimmicky? I don't think so. I think it has a lot of utility here, and it's looking good so far. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.